Throughout history there have been extraordinary individuals, whose height has placed them among the ranks of human giants. These people have captured the fascination of the world, as they challenge the limits of human growth and, in this video, we will explore the lives of 15 real-life human giants that have truly existed delving into their stories and the impact they've had on society. Number 1 Robert Wadlow The tallest man in recorded history Born in 1918, in Alton, Illinois, Robert Pershing Wadlow remains the tallest person in recorded history, known as the Alton Giant. Or Gentle Giant Wadlow measured a staggering 8 feet 11.1 inches to 0.7 to meters tall. At the time of his death in 1940, his remarkable height was a result of a pituitary gland abnormality, which caused an overproduction of growth hormone. From a young age it was evident that Wadlow was growing at an extraordinary pace by the age of 8. He was already taller than his father who stood at 5 feet 11 inches 1.80 meters. Despite his size Wadlow was known for his gentle demeanor and was well-liked by his peers he participated in various activities such as Boy Scouts and school clubs and was a member of his local Methodist church. As Wadlow continued to grow he gained national attention. In 1936 at the age of 18 he joined the Ringling Brothers Circus where he toured the United States and Canada as a featured attraction. Wadlow's fame led to a sponsorship deal with the International Shoe Company, who provided him with custom-made shoes to accommodate his size. 37 AA feet. Unfortunately, Wadlow's towering stature also brought with it numerous health issues he suffered from weakness in his legs, which required him to wear leg braces and use a cane to walk. Additionally, his massive size put considerable strain on his heart, which struggled to pump blood throughout his enormous body. On July 4, 1940, at the age of 22 Wadlow passed away, due to an infection caused by a blister on his ankle. His short life left a lasting legacy, and his extraordinary height remains unmatched to this day. Number 2 Sultan Kozin, the Living Giant Sultan Kozin born in 1982 in modern Turkey, currently holds the title of the tallest living man standing at an incredible 8 feet, 2.8 inches to 0.51 meters. Like Robert Wadlow Cozen's immense height is the result of a pituitary gland tumor which caused an excessive release of growth hormone. It wasn't until 2010 when Cozen underwent successful surgery to remove the tumor that his growth finally halted. Cozen's height has presented numerous challenges. Throughout his life his towering frame made it difficult for him to find clothes and shoes that fit. And he faced difficulties in finding a suitable job. Despite these obstacles, Kozin has remained optimistic and embraced his unique stature. In 2009, Kozin was officially recognized by the Guinness World Records as the tallest living man. His newfound fame has provided him with opportunities to travel the world, appearing on television shows and attending various events. In 2013, he married his wife Merv Debo who stands at 5 feet 8 inches 1.73 meters tall Sultan Kozin's inspiring story and gentle nature have made him a beloved figure, capturing the hearts of people across the globe. Number 3. Yao Ming. Basketball Superstar. Yao Ming born in 1980 in Shanghai, China, is a retired professional basketball player who stands at an impressive 7 feet 6 inches, 2.29 meters tall. Ming's height is primarily attributed to genetics. As both his parents were also exceptionally tall, his father at 6 feet 7 inches to 0.1 meters, and his mother at 6 feet 3 inches, 1.91 meters. Yao Ming's basketball career began in China, where he played for the Shanghai Sharks in the Chinese Basketball Association CBA. His outstanding skills and height caught the attention of the NBA. And in 2002, he was drafted by the Houston Rockets as the first overall pick. During his nine-year NBA career, Ming became an international sensation and a dominant force in the league. He was an eight-time NBA All-Star and was named to the All-NBA second team twice and the All-NBA third team three times. Ming's presence in the NBA helped popularize the sport in China and contributed to the globalization of basketball. Ya Ming's impact extended beyond the basketball court. He has dedicated himself to numerous philanthropic efforts, such as wildlife conservation and disaster relief. In 2016, 
He was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame cementing his legacy as one of the most influential basketball players in history. Number 4. Andre the Giant Wrestling legend Andre Rene Rusimov, better known as Andre the Giant, was a professional wrestler and actor born in 1946 in Grenoble, France. Standing at 7 feet 4 inches to point to 4 meters, and weighing around 520 pounds 235 kilograms Andre the Giant's colossal stature was a result of gigantism and acromegaly, conditions caused by an excessive growth hormone. Andre's wrestling career began in the early 1970s, and he quickly gained fame for his size, strength and agility. His unique physical attributes made him an imposing figure in the ring and he became one of the most recognizable and beloved wrestlers in history. Throughout his career, Andre the Giant was involved in memorable matches and feuds particularly his iconic rivalry with Hulk Hogan. Andre's fame extended beyond the wrestling world as he pursued a successful acting career. Most notably he played the lovable character Fezzik in the 1987 film The Princess Bride. Despite his intimidating appearance Andre was known for his kind and gentle personality endearing him to fans and fellow wrestlers alike. Unfortunately Andre the Giant's health began to deteriorate due to his enormous size and the strain it put on his body. He passed away in 1993 at the age of 46 from congestive heart failure. Andre the Giant's legacy in the wrestling world remains unmatched, and he was posthumously inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 1993. Number 5. Vikas Opal, India's tallest man. Vikas Opal was born in 1986 in Haryana, India, and was believed to be the tallest man in India, standing at approximately 8 feet 3 inches to 0.5 to meters tall. However, Opal's exact height was never officially documented, as he was never formally measured by the Guinness World Records. It is speculated that Apple's height was the result of a pituitary gland disorder similar to that of other individuals, with exceptional stature. Despite his extraordinary height, Upper lived a relatively normal life in his hometown working as a farm laborer and later as a cloth merchant. Apple's height attracted attention from local media and the Indian public which led to some opportunities to work in the Indian film industry. Tragically, Apple's life was cut short when he passed away in 2007, at the age of 21 during a failed tumor removal surgery. Although his life was brief, Vikasupal's immense height and gentle nature left a lasting impression on those who knew him. Number 6. Edward Beaupre the Willow Bunch Giant Edward Beaupre was born in 1881 in Willow Bunch, Saskatchewan, Canada and became known as the Willow Bunch Giant. Standing at an impressive 8 feet 3 inches to 0.5 to meters tall, Beaupre was one of the tallest men of his time. His great height was the result of a pituitary gland disorder, which caused an overproduction of growth hormone. From a young age Beaupre demonstrated exceptional strength, and as he grew older his size and strength caught the attention of traveling circuses and carnivals. At the age of 17 he began his career as a strong man and wrestler performing feats of strength and showcasing his extraordinary height. In addition to his work as a strong man, Beaupre also pursued a career in professional wrestling and gained a reputation for his formidable size and skill in the ring. His fame led to performances across North America, where he entertained audiences with his unique talents. Unfortunately, Beaupre's health began to decline. As a result of his immense size and he suffered from various ailments, he passed away in 1904 at the age of 23. Due to a pulmonary hemorrhage, although his life was brief Edward Beaupre's legacy, as the Willow Bunch giant lives on, and his memory is honored by a statue in his hometown. Number 7. Trench Cornelius Dr. Kiever, the tallest woman in history. Trencha Cornelius Dr. Kiever, also known as the Jauntus of Adam was born in 1616 in Adam, Netherlands. She is considered the tallest woman in history. Standing at an astonishing 8 feet 4 inches to 0.5 for meters tall, Kiever's exceptional height was likely the result of a hormonal condition similar to those experienced by other individuals with extraordinary stature. During her lifetime Kiever's height attracted considerable attention and she became a local celebrity. People would travel from far and wide to catch a glimpse of the jauntus of Adam, and she was often visited by royalty and nobility. 
including Prince Maurice of Nassau, despite her fame. Little is known about trying to Cornelius Dr. Kiever's personal life, she passed away at the young age of 17, in 1633, with the cause of her death remaining unknown. Today her story lives on, as an extraordinary example of human height, and her name is immortalized, as the tallest woman in history. Number 8. Shan Jinlian. The tallest woman in modern times, Shan Jin Lian born, in 1964 in Hunan Province, China, holds the distinction of being the tallest woman in modern times. She reached an incredible height of 8 feet 1.75 inches to 0.48 meters before her untimely death at the age of 17. Like many other individuals with exceptional height changes, growth resulted from a pituitary gland disorder that caused an overproduction of growth hormone. From a young age Zhang's rapid growth became apparent. And by the age of four she was already taller than most adults. As she continued to grow Zhang faced numerous challenges. Associated with her towering stature, her family struggled to provide for her unique needs, such as clothing and shoes that could accommodate her size. Additionally Zun faced health complications related to her height, including scoliosis and mobility issues. Despite the difficulties she faced Zhang, was known for her kind-hearted nature and strong spirit. She was often seen helping her family with household chores and farm work even as her height continued to increase. Throughout her life, Zhang attracted attention from people in her village and beyond. With many coming to see the tallest woman in modern times, Zhang's height garnered interest from medical professionals who sought to understand the cause of her extraordinary growth. Unfortunately, her family was unable to afford the necessary medical treatments that could have potentially halted her growth and alleviated some of her health issues. Tragically, Zhang Jin Lian passed away in 1982 at the age of 17. From complications related to her immense height, her life serves as a testament to the resilience and strength of the human spirit as she navigated the challenges of her extraordinary stature with grace and determination. Though her life was brief, Zhang Jin Lian's legacy as the tallest woman in modern times continues to captivate and inspire people around the world. Number 9. Sandy Allen. The friendly jauntess, Sandra Lane Allen affectionately known as Sandy, was born in 1955 in Chicago, Illinois, USA, at an impressive 7 feet 7.5 inches to 0.32 meters tall. Sandy Allen was recognized as the tallest living woman by the Guinness World Records from 1976 until her death in 2008. Like many individuals with extraordinary height, her growth was the result of a tumor on her pituitary gland which caused an overproduction of growth hormone throughout her childhood. And adolescent Sandy struggled with her height facing challenges such as finding clothes and shoes that fit, as well as enduring teasing and bullying from her peers. As she entered adulthood she embraced her unique stature and began to see it as an opportunity rather than a hindrance. In the mid-1970s Sandy reached out to the Guinness World Records to inquire about the tallest woman in the world. After verifying her height, she was officially recognized as the tallest living woman and her life changed dramatically. Sandy's newfound fame led to numerous opportunities, including television appearances, speaking engagements and a role in the 1981 film Sideshow. Sandy used her platform to advocate for body positivity and acceptance speaking out against bullying and encouraging others to embrace their uniqueness. She was known for her friendly and warm demeanor earning her the nickname the friendly jauntess. Sandy often visited schools to share her story and inspire students to be kind and accepting of one another. Despite her many accomplishments, Sandy faced numerous health issues related to her height, including diabetes, arthritis, and difficulty walking. She eventually moved to a nursing home, where she continued to share her story and inspire others until her death in 2008 at the age of 53. Sandy Allen's legacy as the friendly jauntess lives on through her message of acceptance and the countless lives she touched with her warmth, kindness, and courage. Number 10. Maria Feliciana dos Santos. Brazil's tallest woman. Maria Feliciano dos Santos born in 1969 in Pernambuco, Brazil, was known as Brazil's tallest woman standing at an impressive 7 feet 4.5 inches to 0.4 meters tall. Her extraordinary height was the result of gigantism, 
caused by a pituitary gland disorder, which led to an overproduction of growth hormone. Growing up in a small Brazilian village, Maria Feliciana faced numerous challenges due to her extraordinary stature. She struggled to find clothing and shoes that could accommodate her size and her height made it difficult for her to find employment. Despite these obstacles, Maria Feliciana was known for her kindness, resilience, and positive outlook on life. As her story spread, Maria Feliciana gained national attention in Brazil and she was eventually recognized by the Guinness World Records. As the tallest woman in the country, her height attracted the attention of the media and she was featured in various publications and television programs. Maria Feliciana used her newfound fame to raise awareness about the challenges faced by people with extraordinary height and to promote body positivity. Maria Feliciana's life was not without its difficulties. However, her health was compromised by her immense size and she faced numerous health issues, including mobility problems and chronic pain. Despite these challenges, she remained optimistic and continued to share her story with the world. Tragically, Maria Feliciano dos Santos passed away in 2010. At the age of 40 due to complications related to her height, her life serves as an inspiration for others to embrace their uniqueness and face adversity with courage and determination. Maria Feliciano's legacy as Brazil's tallest woman lives on reminding us all of the extraordinary diversity and resilience of the human spirit. Number 11. Aliana Semyonova Basketball's towering presence Aliana Semjanova born in 1950 to Indolgov Latvia, is a retired basketball player who made her mark as one of the tallest and most dominant female players in the sport's history. Standing at 7 feet 1 inch to 0.16 meters tall, Semenova's incredible height was a result of her genetics, as there is no known medical condition that contributed to her stature. Semenova Genova's basketball career began in the Soviet Union, where she played for the TTT Riga team from 1968 to 1988. During her time with the team, she led them to 15 consecutive European championships and won numerous awards and accolades for her outstanding performance. Incredible height and skill made her a formidable opponent on the court and contributed to her team's success. In addition to her club career, Semyonova was a key player on the Soviet national team, helping them win two Olympic gold medals in 1976 and 1980 and three world championships. Her dominance in the sport earned her a place in the inaugural class of the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame in 1999, and she was also inducted into the FIBA Hall of Fame in 2007. Number 12. Margot Didic, WNBA's tallest player. Margot Didic, known as Margot, was born in 1970 for in Warsaw, Poland, and is recognized as the tallest player in the history of the Women's National Basketball Association, WNBA. Standing at 7 feet 2 inches to 0.18 meters tall, Tidek's height was primarily attributed to genetics, as both her parents were also tall, with her father standing at 6 feet 7 inches, 2.01 meters and her mother at 6 feet 3 inches, 1.91 meters. Didek was drafted by the Utah Stars, now the San Antonio Silver Stars, in the 1998 WNBA draft as the first overall pick. She went on to have a successful WNBA career, playing for teams such as the Connecticut Sun and the Los Angeles Sparks. Didic was a dominant force in the league leading the WNBA and blocked shots nine times and setting the all-time career blocks record. Megat Didic impact on the game extended beyond her playing career. After retiring from professional basketball, she became a coach, sharing her knowledge and experience with young players. Tragically, Didic passed away in 2011 at the age of 37. Due to complications from a heart attack, her legacy as the Wemba's tallest player and her contributions to the sport continue to be celebrated and remembered. Number 13. Brahim Takiola, the man with the largest feet. Brahim Takiola born in 1982 in Guomi, Morocco, is a man who gained recognition not only for his incredible height of 8 feet 1 inch, 2.46 meters, but also for having the largest feet in the world. Takiola's extraordinary height and foot size are the result of a condition called acromegaly caused by an overproduction of growth hormone due to a tumor on his pituitary gland. Takiola's feet measure remarkable 1 foot 3 inches 38 centimeters in length. 
earning him the title of the largest fee in the world. As recognized by the Guinness World Records, his incredible foot size makes it challenging for him to find shoes that fit, and he often has to resort to custom-made footwear. In addition to his record-breaking feet, Takila is also the second tallest living person in the world, surpassed only by Sultan Kozum. Despite the challenges associated with his height and foot size, Takula maintains a positive outlook on life and has used his unique attributes to raise awareness about acromegaly and other growth disorders. Number 14. Bernard Coy, the silent giant. Bernard Coy, born in 1897 in Anthon, Iowa, USA, was known as the silent giant due to his immense height and quiet demeanor. Standing at an incredible 8 feet 2 inches to point for 9 meters tall, Coy's height was a result of a condition called unicoidal infantile gigantism, a rare hormonal disorder that causes excessive growth. Growing up on a farm in Iowa, Coy's extraordinary height made it difficult for him to find clothes and shoes that fit, and his size often attracted attention from curious onlookers. Despite the challenges associated with his high coin, was known for his gentle and reserved nature, which earned him the nickname, The Silent Giant. Coy's height continued to increase throughout his life, and he faced numerous health issues as a result. Tragically, Bernard Coy passed away in 1921 at the age of 23 due to complications related to his immense eyes. While his life was brief, the silent giant remains a fascinating example of the incredible range of human height and the resilience of those who live with extraordinary stature. Number 15. Don Kohler. The Gentle Twin Giant. Don Kohler, born in 1925 in Denton, Montana, USA, was an extraordinary individual who became known as the Gentle Twin Giant. Due to his incredible height and his fraternal twin sister's average stature, at an astounding 8 feet 2 inches to point for 9 meters tall, Kohler's extraordinary height was a result of a pituitary gland disorder which caused an overproduction of growth hormone. Growing up in a rural setting, Don and his twin sister Donna lived a relatively normal childhood despite Don's rapidly increasing height. As he entered adulthood, his height continued to increase eventually making him one of the tallest men in the world. Despite the challenges associated with his size, such as finding suitable clothing and shoes, Kohler was known for his kind, gentle nature, which earned him the nickname the Gentle Twin Giant. Throughout his life, Kohler attracted attention from people, both near and far, who were fascinated by his immense height. He used his unique stature as an opportunity to raise awareness about pituitary gland disorders and the challenges faced by individuals with extraordinary height. In addition to his advocacy work, Kohler pursued various career paths including working as a salesman and a mechanic. He eventually settled in Chicago, where he worked for a company that made industrial fasteners. As he aged, Kohler faced numerous health issues related to his height, including arthritis and heart problems. Despite these challenges, he remained active and engaged in his community often attending events and sharing his story with others. Don Kohler passed away in 1981 at the age of 55, leaving behind a legacy of kindness, resilience and determination. His life serves as an inspiration to others, to embrace their unique attributes and face adversity with courage and compassion. The gentle twin giant story is a testament to the incredible range of human height and the power of the human spirit to adapt and overcome challenges. What do you think about these people? Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share your comments with us.